Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and look into the third party situation in your relationship. So if you know that the person that you are currently connecting to in love has somebody else that they are involved with besides you, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what actions will this will your person take towards the third party and what actions will they take towards you and who will they choose okay let's get started starting off with what actions will they take towards the third party spirit please show me what actions will this person take towards the third party Whoever Pisces is connecting to in love. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, Pisces. First card we have here is the Devil in Reverse. Second card we have here is the Eight of Wands Upright. And the third card we have here is the world card in reverse. The world in reverse. Okay, now let's get three cards to represent what actions will they take towards you. And who will they choose? What actions will this person take towards Pisces spirit? Be showing. First card is the Nine of Cups. Second card is the Queen of Cups. And the last card is the Emperor. Okay, so they definitely want to be with you, Pisces. They are definitely in love with you and they see you as the one for them. And we do have here the Devil in Reverse, which represents releasing something or someone. So in regards to this person's actions towards the third party, I do feel like it almost feels like they're in the process of releasing this person. I'm not sure that this process is complete though because we do have the world in reverse which can represent unfinished business or open cycles that have not yet closed. Um, but I do see that they are in the process of releasing this person. However, it's not yet done. There is still communication here um, happening between them and the third party. So we will clarify that to see what kind of communication. But there is an open cycle here. There is... Um, and unfinished, unfinished business, I feel. Okay, in terms of their actions towards you, we have here the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So they see you as their perfect match. They see you as their, their ideal partner. They have a lot of love for you here with the Queen of Cups. They, they admire you, I feel. They see you as the most beautiful person. They see you as they see you as the person who makes them better. Because I, I noticed that the devil was here in with this other person, so they might have suffered through a lot of um, addictions and vices and just um, unhealthy behavior. Um, but I, I feel like you bring the sunlight into their life. I'm noticing the yellow here. Like you bring in the positivity into their life. And it's like you bring in hope or faith.
they see you as their wish fulfillment. This is a card of a wish fulfillment of, um, again, like the, the ideal form of happiness. So I do feel like they see you as their wish come true. And with the Emperor card, it's like they're taking this relationship with you very seriously. The Emperor is a very serious energy. It's, it's a card of leadership, of taking command, taking control, of, you know, taking action also. This is a card of Aries. So this person is ready to take action towards you and they're ready to take this relationship to the next level. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to pick another deck here. Now let's go back to the third party and let's clarify the devil here. Spirit, please clarify the devil in reverse here. Thank you, Spirit. In regards to this person's actions towards the third party. of cups upright so they did suffer a, a, dis, a, a loss with this person a disappointment heartbreak um, there was some emotional pain here that they went through with this third party here and they're trying to release that that emotional pain they're trying to um, come into a place of healing What about this Eight of Wands? Let's clarify that card. Clarify Eight of Wands in regards to this person's actions towards the third party. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we have the Page of Pentacles. That's what I was going to say. I was feeling a little bit like... It's almost like this person wants to have a good relationship with this third party. They don't want things to be negative between them um, maybe there was some sort of heartbreak here where both both of them were guilty and it's like they want to have peace with this person it's almost like they're offering here um, to have peace like an olive branch they're offering an olive branch here and they might be offering also an apology towards this person but I don't feel like they want to be with this person you know because I see that they want to be with you it's just that they want to make things right with this person and they don't they want to fix their mistakes and they don't want to have a guilty conscience um, so it's like they're they're extending almost like a hand of friendship I want to say so like even if they're not together that doesn't mean that they have to be enemies, you know, they can still be um, amicable with each other. So I feel like this is what this person's doing. They want to just release whatever heartbreak or whatever ne negative experience went on between them, happened between them, and they just want to um, get rid of those negative emotions and ex um, feelings and make things more balanced and peaceful um, before they you know close the cycle okay so yeah um i'm gonna leave it there pisces i think that was pretty direct um i think i those are all the messages that i see let me know if any of this resonated with you um please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if it did and i'll see you in my next video bye pisces